Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this Facebook Live. It is February 5th. It is a dreary Monday, yeah. foggy once again. We'll talk about the fog in a moment, but I want to remind you, we're live on Facebook every weekday morning. Uh, it stays on your feed throughout the day, so you can watch it anytime. Works best for you uh, on all of the social media platforms as well. We make this into a podcast, if that's your thing. Go to inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute or anywhere you find your podcasts. All right, again, kind of a foggy start yeah. to our day. Murky, mm -hmm. soupy, misty, a lot of fog out there. And as the sun is coming up, it just feels like it's getting worse and worse because mm -hmm. now the sun is kind of like glowing through that fog, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, visibility down less than a mile in many, many spots, about three miles at best. So that's what's greeting you for this Monday morning. Temps near or below the freezing point, so watch out for a couple of slick spots. Beneficial that the past week two weeks have been very mild and so that's helped to warm up our road surface temperatures. Our pavement temperatures really aren't terrible. If they were much colder then we'd be looking at a lot of that instant freezing but because our pavement temperatures aren't bad um, I just think a couple scattered slick spots will be possible. Checking in on the DOT map we've got some yellow patches popping up. The northern parts of I-29 reporting some slippery spots around Devil's Lake, around Lakota. Just a couple spots out there to watch out for. Bridges, intersections, on and off ramps, roundabouts, curbs, all very slick this morning. Um, dense fog advisory remains in effect until noon today. So this isn't going anywhere in a jiffy. It's gonna linger here for the next few hours. Should start to push out through the afternoon, kind of thinning, uh, wind out of the south at five to 15, peaks of sun and temperatures mainly into the 40s. We'll go 45 in Fargo today, unless it stays too foggy and cloudy, mm. then we'll be a there's little bit cooler. Catch. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple <laughs> little stipulations with the temperatures for today and tomorrow, because we're gonna do this again tomorrow. I think we wake up with areas of fog for your Tuesday morning. Should be near 50 by Tuesday afternoon, depending on, once again, fog. And then the wind is turning around to the north tomorrow. So if that shift happens a little too early, then that'll kind of bring in some colder air and stop us from warming. So a little bit of an asterisk next to the temperature for today and tomorrow. Wednesday is our transitional day. Showers will build in, mixing in with a little snow by Wednesday night into Thursday, especially in central North Dakota. Fargo's kind of, will we get snow? Will we not? We're in that territory right mm -hmm. now this many days out. Um, so it's too soon for any kind of a snow forecast or even a rain forecast. Temperature is playing a really big role, dancing around the freezing point. So when, where does that rain transition to snow happen? And that'll play a big role in your overall precip forecast. So right now it's just something to watch um, i'm confident that it turns much colder though <laughs> much is a little dramatic it turns colder by the weekend and into early next week temperatures down closer to about that 30 degree mark so not it's terrible. going to feel really cold, exactly but yes. yeah i know that we can't yeah. complain about that <laughs> right so we <laughs> were we in shoot? the 40s 50s we were breaking records left and right last <laughs> week so in respect to that, it's going to feel colder, but it's still technically above average for mm. this time of year. Average high today is 20 in Fargo. So if we're mm. hovering near 30 through the weekend and next week, that's still above average, but 30 and some clouds will feel different than 50s and sun that we had yeah. last week. So it's all relative. And just keep, you know, track of the forecast with Lydia in the morning. Cause people are talking about the snow rain. Like, oh yeah. I know yeah. you're like, it's a little mm -hmm. soon, but everybody's like, oh my gosh, is this the snow we're going to get? I know. Right. I'm, I'm sure you hear it more than I am. All oh, yes. all people are going time. crazy. So yeah. <laughs> so your best chance for snow is looking like central North Dakota. Okay. Probably not the Valley, but things can change. I don't see this moving in until like Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, and it's Monday at 8 AM. So we've yeah. still got well over 48 hours before Patience. the system really starts to develop and push in. And then you add that temperature question mark and what kind of precip do we see and where and what time and how long do we get with the rain and how long do we get with the snow and it's like, it seems like that October, like fall, yes, winter transition. Exactly. Or like a March, April yeah. snowstorm, which makes sense because we're dealing kind of with October or March, April yeah. sort of snow temperatures. So it kind of feels like that. It doesn't look to be a big snowstorm. I think some folks will have to shovel across central North Dakota, but okay. I will update you Great. and let you know responsibly <laughs> as we get closer. Thank you. Okay, thanks. All right. Thanks, Lydia. Uh, this is a story that we broke on First News. A man was pulled from the Red River in Moorhead this morning and taken to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, emergency crews on scene told our crew on scene that uh, the man who was pulled out of the water appeared to be suffering from hypothermia. We're still working to learn his condition right now. We just know that he was taken to the hospital. Um, it happened near the Center Avenue Bridge, kind of near the old Moorhead Center Mall. Um, the call came in when First News was on, so about 5.20. Yep. Uh, and we were actually watching on Lydia's tower cams, the emergency yeah, there's responders, a lot of, lot of lights. You see them downtown. Um, so 
we're going to continue tracking this story and uh, you know a lot of questions obviously remain and we'll work on that you can stay tuned yeah, absolutely. All right. Also, new overnight, Fargo police are asking for your help to find a missing woman. Hattie Schwartz has been missing since Friday. She is 21 years old, five foot three, blue eyes, brown hair. It's possible she was last seen wearing blue jeans and a hoodie. Uh, that was on about uh, midnight on February 2nd. If you have any information on where she could be, you should call the Red River Valley Dispatch Center. But this morning, we know that firefighters are going to be tackling some hot spots that remain uh, at an elevator fire and also start their investigation. And because of that same morning, uh, it happened in uh, Tappan, which mm -hmm. is uh, in the uh, it's a small town in Kidder County. Um, at least seven different volunteer fire departments responded to that fire. Uh, so we're going to continue tracking the investigation and also um, getting updates on what started that fire. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. So also, we're following a separate fire as well. It happened over the weekend. It happened at a home near the Bottle Barn off Broadway. Firefighters say they were able to contain that fire to a mattress in a bedroom on the second floor. No one was hurt, but while on the scene, our photographer saw a man inside a police cruiser uh, getting questioned. So we're kind of uh, diving into what exactly was happening with the questioning and if there's anything suspicious. Hot mic with Dom Izzo coming up 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra, also inform.com. After a thrilling last second win, the UND men's basketball team is the hottest team in the conference, winners of six straight now. Uh, head coach Paul Sather is going to be joining Dom on the show to chat about the Red Hot Hawks. Mm -hmm. uh, plus the top girls basketball game of the year is tonight in Bismarck, a preview of Minot and Century. That's going to be a great game. Hot mic. 9 to 11 with Dom Izzo on WDAY Extra. And hey, don't forget to join us for our newscast the rest of the day. The next one's at 11, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back tomorrow morning with first news from 5 to 7 a.m. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.